Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number two of the 4,600 FIFA point pack opening. We opened 2,400 points in the first part and the best player we managed to pull was Eric Lamella. Only goes for about 7,000 coins or so. We did also pull a Kevin Prince Boateng. So uh, hopefully we can have some sort of improvement in this uh, in this second part. If you did miss the first part, then of course feel free to check the channel page and I'm sure you'll be able to find it on there. It will have been uploaded perhaps yesterday, perhaps a couple of days ago. I may have had a, uh, a Tottenham career mode or a Pac-Man video in between you seeing that as we pull a fantastic pack actually Marek Hamsik not too sure what he goes for we will let's have a quick look but we also there as you can see as you pull a Jordi Alba and I'm not sure what he goes for either but uh, that actually I may end up keeping Jordi Alba Hamsik only doesn't go for much about four to five thousand coins but uh, Jordi Alba I do have a La Liga side that I've been building I do love having a La Liga side on uh, on FIFA and uh, the minute I've got Felipe at left back, he is very, very strong indeed. But if uh, Jordi Alba doesn't go for that much, then I may end up keeping him and swapping him in to Felipe. In for Felipe, ten grand or so though. I think I may sell him. So uh, that's a fantastic pull. We'll keep that, or that will sell that. But you know, we'll keep that for now. That will do. But. Uh, if, uh, if, like I say, if you did miss the first part, do feel free to check the channel page for that. We've uh, we've got just over 2,000 FIFA points left to open, so we will go through into the next pack. Lionel Messi on the front. If we get a Lionel Messi inside, then that would be absolutely wonderful. So far this year, like I say, the best player I've had is Leighton Baines in form, which went for about 50,000 coins as we pull a Viviano. Not really worth much. Arsenal's new goalkeeper signing, although uh, Wojciech Chesney has been... Again, as you would expect, holding down that first team spot as we pull uh, a duplicate manager. But uh, yeah, Wojciech Chesney has been holding down the uh, the first team spot at Arsenal. As you would expect, he is, uh, he is a fantastic goalkeeper. Pretty decent on FIFA as well. Quite high reflex and diving stats and a, a decent goalkeeper all round. Always seems to, uh, to play pretty well against me whenever I play against someone that has Chesney in goal. But whenever I have him, he doesn't really tend to do that well for me. Gee, seven players in that pack. Rogerio Cheney is the goalkeeper that uh, actually has a fantastic free kick on him. Uh, anyone else of any particular note? Not particularly. And an MLS manager card. No, we'll send all of that to the club and we will move on. So uh, hopefully we can pick up a big name signing. It would be nice to have a, uh, a fantastic signing in at least... Uh, this second part, obviously, like we say, we had Lamella in the first part, a good player, a very good player, a player that cost Tottenham £30 million, but uh, unfortunately, he doesn't go for that many coins on uh, Oscar, hello, mate, I love that little man, what a goal he scored earlier on today, by the way, uh, you will not have been earlier on today by the time you see this, but uh, I am recording this on the Sunday, that uh, Chelsea beat Norwich by three goals to one, as we thought Rene Adler as well, I will actually use him in the Bundesliga squad builder that's coming up very soon as well, so that'll be uh, very tidy indeed. La Bombonera and a Freiburg third kit. We'll just discard those. But uh, yeah, Oscar this afternoon, this afternoon that I'm recording, like I say, scored a fantastic goal of the outside of his foot to put Chelsea 1 0 up away at Norwich. Of a game that we obviously ended up winning 3 1. If you don't know, I am a Chelsea fan and uh, I have been going home. Uh, home and away for the past couple of seasons although this past 12 months or so I haven't been able to uh, to go to many games due to uh, due to finances we get the finisher, the finisher chemistry style but uh, yeah I've been to quite a few Chelsea games in the past two or three years especially uh, the most important one I guess of which would be Barcelona away in the Champions League in the year that we won it where uh, Fernando Torres scored that goal um, but that was, a, that was a wonderful game to be at can we get Daniel Agger really and a Kone, maybe he'll go for a couple of grand. Milan third kit, I'm not really too sure about that. A little bit of gold. Don Bass Arena, uh, a new a new stadium in this year's FIFA, the uh, Shakhtar Donetsk stadium that Manchester United played in not too long ago. Decent ground, actually, although it does rain quite a lot there, unfortunately. I did have it as my main stadium, but I've decided to go back to uh, to the Mastaya because it is uh, a little bit drier in Spain than it is in Ukraine, so... Uh, and uh, that actually, unfortunately, or rather fortunately, rhymes. Wilford Zaha, hello, mate. In a uh, in a gold pack, what do you go for? No, yes, list on the transfer market compare price. We'll have a quick cheeky look to see what Wilford Zaha goes for. Oh, yes, 
That will do very nicely indeed. Thank you very much. Wilfred Zaha is not the best player we've pulled so far in this two-part pack, pack, pack opening. Wow, trip over your words, Chez. But he is, in fact, the most expensive player we've pulled in this particular two-part pack opening. So, very pleased with that. That is a nice pull. Hopefully that will uh, set us up nicely for these last 1,000 FIFA points. Hopefully we can continue to pull some particular talent. Uh, Oscar goes for around about the 10k mark, so there's a good 35k there just in those two packs alone, let alone with Rene Adler who goes for around about three or 4,000 coins as well, I think, as we pull a Nicholas, a Nelka and a Muller. Not the best right midfielded Muller that, uh, that there is in the Bundesliga. Obviously Thomas Muller is a little bit better than him, although not as fast, but uh, pace, especially this year, as, uh, as you well know, isn't absolutely everything. It isn't the be-all and end-all, although it is uh, very close to being the be-all and end-all. But uh, let's open one more 150 FIFA point pack, shall we? El Shirawi on the front. Can we get someone decent inside? Would be very nice to pick up at least one more decent pull before we get to the end of the uh, of the FIFA points that we have allotted to us. Marco Borriello isn't the best of players, though, so uh, that's not going to do us too much good. Uh, we'll discard those for 88 different coins. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, we can make a decent amount of. Well, I say profit, but it's not actually cost me anything coin-wise to uh, to get these packs, has it? So hopefully, we can just make a decent bit of money from the uh, the players we've pulled in these two uh, these two part packs. Say given mm. a decent goalkeeper, although he's been significantly downgraded with his diving and reflex stats. But I guess that's understandable considering he hasn't really seen any first-team football whatsoever. As we pull the Don Bass again, uh, with Brad Guzan being absolutely wonderful for uh, for Aston Villa the past two years, almost. He and Benteke were kind of the main reason that they stayed up last year. And again, this year, he's been particularly impressive in keeping Aston Villa in some games and uh, single-handedly winning them some points. And they have been better this year, actually. So we pull Rasmus Elm again. Not the... Uh, hello, Roberto Martinez. Actually, managers this year, especially uh, Premier League managers, uh, do go for a little bit of money. So uh, I might be able to sell him on for... I don't know, five, six, seven hundred coins. Uh, I managed to sell a David Moyes for about six hundred coins, although he's probably not the most popular of managers right now uh, with Manchester United. Not doing as well as uh, most Man United fans have come to expect over the past two decades almost, or more so, two and a half decades. But uh, what can we get in this one? Alex! And uh, Oscar Cardo's a 52 pace, but what a left foot he does have. Absolutely spectacular left foot. Wonderful free kick on him, and a real rocket shot as well. So we, uh, we have let's say three packs left to open uh, two 150 point packs let's open the 100 point pack now so uh, we can end on a on a gold premium pack as opposed to just a generic 5,000 pound gold pack uh, who can we get in this one then only three packs left we've got 25,000 coins in the bank James Milner I don't know as you go for anything whatsoever and now uh, we actually get Brad Guzan as you can, who as you can see does have some decent stats this year I will actually, rather than uh, rather than discarding him, send him to the trade pile. But as you can see at the top, or you could see, it's disappeared now, it's coming back. My uh, my current record so far this year is 33 wins, 6 draws and 16 defeats. Let me know in the comments down below what your overall record is so far this year. Because I know a lot of people have been particularly struggling to get on with it this year. And on the opposite of that, a lot of people have been doing particularly well on this year's FIFA 14. So uh, Ike Munayin is a fantastic player. His dribbling is absolutely out of this world and he has been moved from a left wing to a cam. So could be a decent player this year, uh, more so than last year. You could be have him involved in a lot more different squads. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for him if I uh, maybe put him in a cheap La Liga squad or a cheap Spanish squad. But this is going to be the last pack of the 4,600 FIFA points. Our best player so far. Uh, Value-wise is Wilfred Zaha, our best player so far. Ability-wise is probably Eric Lamello. We get a second Daniel Agger and a second someone else as Louis Zao. 39 pace, you absolute giant monster. Who else? Jordi Alba, there you go. We'll have a second Jordi Alba. That will do very nicely indeed. And that will actually make my mind up. I will keep the other Jordi Alba and I will sell this one. Uh, so uh, that will do very nicely indeed. We'll shove those to the transfer list. So uh, that is going to wrap this particular... Uh, second part to uh, to this 4,600 FIFA point pack opening to a close. Guys, unfortunately, we weren't able to pull any in-form players this time, but we have had a couple decent pulls. Well, let's have a look at the transfer list and see uh, which 
particular but oh, I haven't put anyone on the transfer list have I? I put them all in the squad but nonetheless uh, I do apologise for that but that is going to bring this particular video to a close so please do feel free guys to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that would be absolutely superb and of course feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but that is going to bring this one to a close I will see you tomorrow with another video so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time